So, L. Ron Hubbard, James the Amazing Randy, and Nosferatu walk into a bar. Hello everyone, this is Susan Gerbic. I was going to talk to you today about Operation Bumblebee, which was the first sting I and my team did to expose mediums for what they are, grief vampires. Of all the pseudoscience topics out there, people who profess to communicate with the dead are the ones that can raise my blood pressure to boiling the quickest. Later on, you will be listening to an interview with one of the members of my team, Sheldon Helms. He's going to tell you about his experience at our chip coffee excursion a couple weeks ago. I don't know what he's going to say. I will be hearing it for the first time as you do. I want to add that I'm very proud of the team that I've created. We have clever, motivated people involved that want to be doing something. Most people who joined just happened to be see my Facebook post asking for money and volunteers. In most cases, this is the first time they have ever been involved in any kind of scientific skepticism activism. What we have done and are continuing to do is something that anyone with an internet connection should be able to duplicate. I'm quite comfortable training and guiding any skeptic group or known skeptic individual that wants to become more active. Please write to me at susangerbic.com. Operation Ice Cream Cone is the second phase, and this has already started, so stay tuned. So since Sheldon will be giving you all the details here soon, I'm going to be talking about Robert Lancaster today. You all know Robert Lancaster from the StopSylvia.com website. This was my first step into the activism world. He was active on the JREF forum back before Facebook and Twitter were invented. This is where I first learned about Robert and the work he was doing. What the Stop Sylvia site contains is factual, kind, and well-researched articles about psychic Sylvia Brown. I read every article at least twice, and when he asked for help getting a hold of transcripts of Montel Williams' shows, I jumped at it. I wasn't that tech-savvy, but learned as I went. I organized the transcripts for easy reference, and I hoped I would be given the opportunity to contribute more. When you read the site, which I highly encourage you to do, you will see that he educated so many people. People wrote to him all the time, and probably still do. Some slamming him for daring to speak out about Sylvia, some asking questions, and others thanking him for opening their eyes to what she was doing. Whenever he received a negative letter, he would politely reply and offer links to the appropriate counterpoint. Many times these people would write back saying they had had no idea and now they're changing their minds about Sylvia. What Robert really did was that he showed us that one person can make a difference. I know that really sounds cliched, but he really did. Robert said that he was tired of people ranting that someone should do something. Finally, he said, I'll do it. And he did it. He's not a writer, a scientist, a magician, a public speaker. He was just somebody that wanted to quit the hand wringing that was and was tired of the concern trolls who plagued discussion threads with their I'm worried about this and that, listing excuses for why whatever it is being discussed is not a good idea, but then again not offering any alternative options. And I'm sick to death of these people as well. Robert Lancaster showed me that it was possible. Tim Farley gave me the tools, Mark Edward trained and supported me, and now it's my turn to stand up and lead. I hope someone out there listening to me will be inspired to take some kind of action. That idea you have to start a project, well, get on it. Maybe you have already been involved in something but keep losing your motivation. Well, please find it. We are outnumbered. They vote and are raising their children to believe as they do. We must educate, inspire, and motivate people to think critically about their actions or inaction. Remember Robert Lancaster. Visit his Wikipedia page that Tim Farley created years ago. Please visit the StopSylvia.com page and read the stories. Yes, the web page is outdated. Remember this was created years ago. The content is what is important. And please no negative Nancys out there. Just go out and do it better yourself. So guess what I'm trying to say this week is that we don't have to be somebody to be somebody. Think about your goals. 
Look at what your resources and skills are. Find like-minded people and make a plan. Yes, listen to constructive criticism, but not the concerned trolls who want to talk you out of doing any action. They feel better about their inaction when they see that you're inactive. If you want to contact me, please do so. One last note. Two of my very new editors who have finished training with the GSOW project have already rewritten articles that have appeared on the front page of Wikipedia as a Did You Know article. Only the best articles are allowed that 12-hour moment of fame. Todd Dietrich rewrote the Brian Brushwood Wikipedia page. His next project, I believe, is The Jersey Devil. Janice Boyton rewrote the Heather Dewey Hagborg Wikipedia page. Janice is currently working on the Bud Hopkins page rewrite, who was a prominent UFOologist. Both Brian and Heather I'd never heard of until listening to Derek interview them here on Skepticality. Brian was on episode 105, Scam School, and Heather on episode 223, which was called Pieces of You. Being on Skepticality does get you on my to-do list, just in case you are wondering. I have a whole team of people that are just somebodies, and I'm looking for more somebodies. If you are interested in joining us, please write to us at gsowteam at gmail.com. Thank you.